Out with scantrons and bubbles in with the 21st century. Starting next spring, New Mexico school kids will use computers to take their dreaded standardized tests. The kids are ready, but what about the schools? Here's News 13's Cole Miller. The paper and pencil version of the test will soon be a thing of the past, replaced by computers. And making sure schools across the state are ready, that's the next big challenge. Our kids most often are more advanced than we are as adults when it comes to technology. It's time to meet them where they are. For Secretary of Public Education Hannah Scandera, that means a change in the classroom and a change to standards-based assessments phasing out the traditional tests for a computer-based version. Over the long haul, there, is, there are no downsides that I can see for our students. The goal is to have schools across the state ready by March. So here's all these green dots mean not only they're completely ready, they have a great student computer ratio. And to get a better idea of who's ready and who isn't, PED is launching an online tool. It goes live tomorrow. It's going to go to all our districts and ask these key questions. Are you ready? How do you know from a bandwidth perspective and from a student computer ratio perspective? Scandera says schools need to have at least one computer for every five students and a strong enough internet connection. It's a move she says will save $3 per student, cut down on cheating, and move New Mexico into this century. Currently, third through eighth graders, 10th and 11th graders all take the SBA tests, about 100,000 students. Here in Albuquerque, it's not exactly clear which schools are ready. And you'll notice that, as I mentioned earlier, gray means they have not submitted data. However, APS tells us the district easily has more than enough computers. But down in Las Cruces, there's a lot of red, meaning schools are not ready. If there is a district or schools that are not ready, we're get, we've got some time to close that gap and ensure we're ready for success. Scandera says the whole thing will have some upfront costs, though, including training teachers to give the new tests. Any school not ready will be able to continue with written tests. In two years, the SBA will be replaced by what's called the Park Exam. It will also be taken online and made up of material developed by teachers right here in New Mexico. Dick, back to you. All right, Cole. One immediate concern is rural New Mexico. The Public Department of Education hopes that those districts will submit information early enough so that the state can help them out.